course they must have really liked what I said about the HS80 wireless because now they've sent me the USB version. Good afternoon morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the four-piece variety of the Triple XL. And I've got the HS80 RGB USBs in front of me over here right now. And they're exactly the same as the HS80 wireless. What are the chances of that? I know. It struck me as with a surprise as well, for sure. Sarcasm aside, this is genuinely their best foot forward as for a headphone, at least audio profile wise to date. And these are no exception to that. The HS80s improved their audio profile and sound staging so much that um, the Dolby Atmos and etc. is so superfluous, I literally disable all enhancements and I don't use them at all because there's just nothing like good clean stereo fun. It is the best way to reproduce sound. For those of you who don't know, think about it like this. If there's 7.1 in a headset, actual genuine 7.1, and I have a Zalman set, which is actually a genuine 5 in 1, if that actually exists in the headset, how good can each one of those speakers possibly be? Not very good, can they? Because there's just not enough space for them to be good. So having 250mm drivers in a headset is just going to be way better. It just always is going to be better. And that's why, in general, if you look at audiophile headphones, they're all just stereo. Um, it's done very much on purpose and the result of doing that here is that you get really good sound isolation well sound positioning your sound imaging is very very good and these have a particularly nice tone they are a little bit digital they do lack a little bit of warmth in the mid-range now being a usb version they are quite a lot more cut down you get one programmable button on the back over here which is defaulted to mic mute or iq software and then you've got a volume slide underneath that very nice feeling though it is like metallic and it, it's textured and the positioning is really good for when it's on the back of your ear that your thumb naturally will find that position so i do like the way that it is set up left hand side for the cable in and obviously for the mic mic has a built-in mute uh, color as well or built-in mute lights with the led so when it's extended then led will go off and let you know that it is then unmuted or when you put it back up that it is muted i do like the positioning of this mic and most importantly because it's wired this thing's mic quality is absolutely exceptional let me jump over to the pc quickly and give you a show and tell Alrighty, so here we are this is the software the interface you're going to use as, as you can see, you can change the assignment if you want on the mic, so you can on that mic mute button, so you can change it if you need to. Lighting effects, yeah, you can do some presets and some color pulse and shift and, you know, the stuff. I don't, I don't see why you would want it or need that because you can't even see it. I like it on other products though, so if you want to match it, I mean, knock yourself out. It's cool that it suggests NVIDIA broadcast to you because we're also going to use this, well, I am actively using it, as I'm busy speaking to you off this microphone right now, and I'm going to demonstrate on how good of a software it is and how it can actually take this mic and actually make it into like a borderline broadcasting mic, which is pretty cool. The equalizer is also cool because obviously you can change and, um, you know, set up the headphones for your specific uh, setup that you like. Uh, I just like the Peer Direct, the, st the standard one. Then you have your device settings over here. You can check for firmware updates and stuff, your brightness, how much you want to boost your mic if you need to. I find that you really don't need to with this mic. It does a pretty good job uh, just being straight on 100% volume. Um, you do want it like basically maxed over here. Uh, I'd say even just a little bit off the top is where we'll, we'll test it. So now I do have my video broadcast running, as I said. And as you can see, I'm on my good old Dixon UD20. Now I'm going to switch over to the headset microphone. And I think you will see that this thing is kind of exceptional in its tone. This is just a boom arm mic like that compared to a full like USB condenser microphone, which has a much bigger diaphragm for picking up my voice. So these are really good. I have to say the, the mic on this, and it's all just because it's wired. Wireless mics suffer because of the current technology that's doing the the sort of translation or sending of the sound bites it can't fill the sound correctly whereas like this you get a very you know holistic experience of someone's voice with all the nice tones and stuff and if you get excited as well and you hit that great shot it's not gonna just completely destroy itself even though it does peak it doesn't 
could just completely die. So I'm I'm really impressed with these. Are, the software and everything that comes with them is definitely worth the cash monies. Back to the studio. So as you can hear, they're borderline like broad broadcast quality just because of it being on a cable. The difference that it makes between a wireless mic and a cabled mic is so massive. It, it, I would say it's day and night, but night wouldn't be dark enough compared to the day to make a proper comparison. It would be like solitary confinement in the dark versus day. That's how much of it, I'm not even capping, that's how much of a difference there is. And you can hear it with a mic like this, which is almost comparable to a proper USB condenser microphone that I have. Kind of amazing. The things, my criticisms for the HS80 remain the same. I like the way that it's set up. I like the cups. I really do like the felt that's on lining that's on here. I just don't like how head squeezy it is. I'm an Easter Island head owner. My cup is very large and this does not fit. Even on its absolute maximum over here. It's just too tight. There's gaps around the bottom of my ears on both sides when I put on the headset. So it could be made just a little bit bigger. I genuinely wish instead of the headband like this, it would expand out of the sides over here. I think that would be a lot better, to be honest. The headband isn't bad. It is really nicely finished. The product quality from Corsair on this is exceptional. Just not my preferred sort of setup. If you like that and you want a really good mic for doing streaming and podcasting and stuff even on, then this is a really good option for that. Under 2K as well. It's about 1.9. In the bracket that this sits itself with the audio quality, etc. If you don't have a head the size of mine, these are absolutely fantastic. They will be a very good buy for that. And like I said, they can go into like, oh, I've got an office meeting. You can just use this microphone. You don't have to change up anything after the fact. So the, the USB is better. The mic is considerably better. If you want to know more about the HS80s in general, if you feel like I haven't provided enough info in this review, I have done a full review of the wireless and they're basically exactly the same, just with a cable obviously built into this set. So if you want to check that out, I will put the annotation up above you. Anywho, hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you have, please will hit us up with a like and subscribe and I'll see you on the flip side.